Hi, this is Mike Meyer with M Plus M Industries. We're making this short video in order to explain to some of our viewers that have been requesting why we're using imported polymer magazines instead of standard steel magazines or national uh, polymer magazine itself. The magazines we actually chose, they're made with military spec uh, polymer that are actually uh, resistant to various temperature differences and everything. And they're also made out of a lightweight material and have heat-treated steel inserts in them. Even though you cannot see them at first glance, they're actually down there and we'll show you next. The other uh, big reason that we're utilizing these magazines is because they tend not to get damaged if they're dropped on the floor or if something gets like a rifle falls on top of it or something. Uh, they do not jam. On the steel ones, on the other hand, as soon as you walk or stomp on top of one or a rifle falls on it or something, the magazines tend to get jammed and the follower does not release. Quick example that I'm going to show you is actually here we've got the steel magazine. You can see you are pushing it. The follower is nice and clear. So we're taking a hammer and hitting it. There is this huge dent in the magazine. Now it's completely useless. This could have been your rifle, the muzzle falling on it, or just it falls from some higher altitude, loaded up with high with 30 rounds of ammunition, and you have an unusable magazine. In this case, on a polymer one, you can hit it multiple times, as you can see. And right there, the follower is still free and clear. That was the main reason that we actually chose this magazines over our steel ones or other ones out there. Uh, what we also wanted to show you was that they are actually have steel inserts in them. Okay, so we just took the floor plate off the magazine in order not to have any tension and cut this one up. And as you can see, it has an anti-tilt follower, uh, the polymer magazine that we're utilizing. And heard people are asking if they have actually steel lips. I'm going to slice it really quickly up. So this is the reason we actually chose this polymer magazines. Um, they are actually steel reinforced heat treated lips inside of them. Even though they do not look uh, from the outside, you can barely tell, you can see them. It took us a while cutting them through. What this lips do is when the magazine is under tension with a full 30 rounds in them, it keeps them from opening up and over time that tension actually makes problems, especially when it's just 100% polymer magazine. This lip st uh, lips start opening up and making misfeed problems on most of the firearms. That is the actual reason we use this ones. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that this explained most of the questions regarding these magazines.